girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes, this is for you. Liquid IV will hydrate you twice as fast as water. Super convenient, little packs that you can take anywhere. They have all these amazing flavors, green apple, wild berry, lemon, lime. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And bitch, are you ready to go down this pop culture streets? Because it's like everyone is suing everyone. There is always some shit going on, girl. I mean, this pop culture they don't they don't sleep. They do not sleep because there is always a backstabber. There is always a Judas, you know. There is always someone trying to do some shit to these celebrities. Or some celebrities that are just plain shitty, right? Girl, let's talk about Liso. Because Liso, I mean, she is loved by almost everyone, you know. Like, she is the, you know this queen with amazing music and vo body positivity and she has spread such amazing messages of love and respect and love yourself you know and like like fuck you know the skinny bitches and, and the patriarchy like you know she is she has like a lot of things going on right and she has been very loved for a very long time well she is getting sued yeah not for one or two but for three different people claiming horrible horrible experiences when it comes to working for her even going so far to sexual harassment yeah body shaming uh sexual like charge scenarios girl i mean basically Everything that Liso stands against, they are trying to say that she did to them. This is, like, crazy. Of course, like, part of it is aimed at the management team, but they are actually accusing Liso of doing some, like, very weird shit, okay? So Liso is a nightmare to work for behind the scene, at least according to three of her former backup dancers who are suing for what they claim were awful conditions on the job, okay? The singer is named as a defendant in a new lawsuit that was filed by the three women who say they danced for Liso in her touring company between 2021 and the spring of 2023, okay? When they claim they were either unjustifiably fired or forced to resign due to unbearable conditions. In the documents that were obtained by TMC, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez say they made it into Liso's orbit through her Amazon reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls. And after making the cut, they allege they were subject to a number of California workplace violations, several of which amounted to sexual harassment, false imprisonment, and interference with prospective economic advantages, among other claims. The accusations are being hurled in a few different directions, including some aimed at members of Liso's management team, but as it pertains to her specifically, she's being accused by these women of basically holding them hostage in a number of situations. 
especially specifically the woman side two different instances while on the road with her in Europe earlier this year they claim she subject them to attend new new shows in Amsterdam and Paris to the clear discomfort of her employing during the Amsterdam outing, they claim Liso go to her dancers to touch the nude performers on stage and interact with them in a very vulgar and explicit way. The dancers claim they have felt they had to do this in order to maintain their jobs. Now, talking about this whole Amsterdam thing, I found something that I'm going to tell you uh, that it says that in Amsterdam, they like after the show, Liso invite everyone to go out with them, and they end up going to the red district in Amsterdam, you know, and the things quickly got out of hand. With Liso began inviting cast members to take turns touching the nude performance performers, catching dildos launched from the performers by JJ's and eating bananas protruding from the performers by JJ's. Girl! I mean, girl. Another claim against Liso, her alleged badgering of these women over alleged poor performance and accusations of drinking on the job, which they say led to her constantly threatening them and their positions on her squad. The dancers even claim Liso made them re-audition for their spot in a multi-hour rehearsal that sounds brutal. One dancer claimed she was forced to pee her pants right there on stage out of fear of taking a break. One dancer also claims Liso was privy to an eating disorder she had and exploited that when she felt this dancer wasn't up to snuff, allegedly forcing her to talk about it. On top of that, all these dancers claim they were constantly being stiff on the money front as well as having to constantly turn down other dancing gigs during pauses on tour. They are suing for major damages. Oh, I mean, girl, I don't know. I mean, like I was saying, this is literally going against every single thing that Lisa stands for, which is woman empowerment, which is, you know, um, safe environments. You know, I mean, she's not about sexual harassment. She's not about any of these things. So oof, if this end up being truth, this is going to end up Lisa's career. I can tell you that. And I mean, she had amazing music, but girl, I mean, this will be, it's like we're talking like about a complete different person. Or there is always a possibility that these three girls just want to get money from Lisa. You know, it's not that far-fetched. It happens in Hollywood all the time, you know, and especially with celebrities. So I will not be surprised. But right now, we have to give the, the benefit of the doubt to both of them, you know, the defendants and the, uh, the other girls because you don't know exactly what is going on. But if it's true, it sounds horrible, girl. So anyways, uh, let me know what you think on the comments below. Do you believe that Lisa was capable of doing all of these horrible things? Let me know, and if you want to get all the tea related to the pop culture streets, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. If you want a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The link is on the description below. It is a great way to support me and my channel, and you get something very funny and amazing in return. So make sure to check it out right here, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!